having trouble trying to sleep. I'm counting sheep but running out. Not chest day, back day. <laughs> Neck and forearms day. Neck and forearms day? We're doing, We're doing lips and toes. <laughs> What's going on, folks? Gentlemen. That's the boy Jason. He's already here. That's the man right there. Have y'all started with him? Nah, we've just been stretching, stretching. Oh, y'all waited that long? I know. Nah, we're all good, bro. I appreciate it. Well, let me make sure I got my silly me. Casual guy having seven, th seven things in his pocket. Yeah, I got a full inventory. I got to start dropping loot. <sighs> We're in it. We're in it to win it. Fucker maxed out. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's such a beautiful, immaculate form. Oh, yeah. See, see, get all those angles. Warm it up, bro. We're going to put some weight on that. I also got liquid shock with me, so... No excuse for talking about grip. The boy's about to demonstrate. Capture, capture a little moment. This guy's about to hit it. Watch this shit, come on. Oh yeah. There you go. Just make sure. Yeah, it is like almost RDLs. Just make sure you keep your back straight. Bend down, push up. Always have that chest up. All right, well, how do you want to go up and increase in increments? All right, you gotta like explain the deadlift, you know? Explain like, what, the deadlifts? All right, from what I... I've been told, make sure you are like evened out. Your kind of shoulders want to match up with how the way your hips and how you're spread out. So don't be going like super wide unless that's sumo, which is cheating. Or you can do narrow for conventional. Everyone does, I hope. You can go however mixture of grips you want. You can go over, you can do usually alternative, alternate. And then just like, depends on the person really on how they want to grip stuff. I usually try to do mixed grip because it just fits better for my, my hands and everything for gripping. Keep your back straight. Nearly fucking chest out. Try to raise, go down with the bar. Let the bar slowly let you down. Don't be going down with the bar. It's like in a squatting motion. Make sure your knees are kind of kept in and just let the bar carry down. Push up, explode. Once you get to that bottom. Should be light work. What I'm feeling today, four plates on each side. Another additional four plates. And we're just gonna leave it on the rack and let the custodians clean it. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm about to go, I'm about to go. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Nice and slow and controlled. You don't want to look stupid doing your workouts. You want to squeeze at the end. Yeah. Nice little squeeze. All right, for this one, I don't really like kind of sitting. Kind of like the feeling of almost, I could have that support by sitting down or I can just be standing on my own. And all the seat is doing is just making sure I have the right stance or anything like that. I usually go grab it wide. Make sure you're pressing up against that pad. Pull back. Make sure you're kind of holding it, contracting, then just let go of it. With this one, I don't really try to go for too much weight. I kind of want to focus more on reps because if you keep straining your back with these workouts and stuff and like stretching everything, you'll figure out that like one side of your back is lacking. And so instead of just adding hella weight and not really exercising that, that like lacking part of your back, you'd rather just want to keep working on reps, at least on machines. Machines is always reps. I feel like anything that requires like free weight, like a, deadlift pad or, or like doing squats feel like you can focus on so much weight but with machines like this you just want to focus on pulling that squeeze you're amazing at this oh yeah
feels real light. We'll definitely put up four or five plates, see how that feels. I feel like everyone's gonna have footage of them hitting at least three plates or more. I already know it. Let's add some more weight. Now that's a little bit heavier. We're all warmed up. We're gonna work the whole muscle, get as much blood pumped into the muscle as possible. I'm talking out of my ass a little bit right now. I'm just trying to sound smart. This is how I do it. Just over time I've learned, I like to kind of roll my shoulders a bit forward and then suck them back. Roll forward, suck back. And what I'm doing, I'm working the whole entire muscle, making sure it contracts. I think that's seven. I'm gonna hit three more. Nice. Ooh. All right, nice reps. Nice reps, nice results. Kind of do that, that motion where my boy Jason said, just kind of roll your shoulders forward too. Really contract it, really feel it. Suck back. It's one of those ones where you roll forward and you suck back. But there you go, man. Okay. Make sure make sure you guys use the suck back method. Can't go wrong with the suck back. The only thing you'll never see me doing on when we're recording is doing this I hate that, dude. David Dobrik. What's up, guys? Yeah, like this type of shit I don't like at all, bro. It's super cringe. <laughs> we're gonna throw a 45 pound. <laughs> Can you actually start looking right now? all of our heavy back workouts now we're gonna hit our biceps i like to get get the pump going get the blood flow so here's how i do it so regularly i like to keep my elbows stationary boom but here's my twist instead of having my my wrist curled like this i like to let them hang what that does i feel like it makes the bicep work harder by itself see i'm letting it hang so ready i'm gonna hit 20. nice and controlled <sighs> Try it out, boys and girls. Ah, oh, bitches ain't shit. Casual workout, hammer curls. Really, really, camera hammer curls isn't really just a test of strength. It's the test of how stable you can really hold things at this type of angle. That's what I train for. I train for the stability and maybe to hold it any type of weight and just have it like this and not bother you. Over here, you kind of just want to go slow, really just hold it. Try not to make sure you get up here because then that just works out your shoulder instead. So however medium or a level you can get without having to the elbow raise your, your weight up. Do that way. Same side again. Try to keep it leveled and just alternate or do both at the same time if you want. Personally, me, lighter weight, I try to make sure I hold it for reps and stuff. Then with heavier weight, I'll focus more on like just powering through and hitting both the same exact time. But lighter weight, usually yeah, you do want to go kind of one at a time. I'm just trying to burn out a little bit more by doing both at the same time. Legs extended out or however you want it. If you're like a big guy like me and I got a fucking barely tiny ass fucking popsicle stick of a, of a bench can't even barely hold me. <laughs> Gotta love looking at the veins, man. That's hilarious. Plus, if you're sitting and doing hammer curls, you're able to do a little bit more since you have the swinging motion available opposed to when you're standing up. I always felt like if you sit, you get a little bit more strength or a little bit more stamina when it comes to hammer curls. We'll see how this workout goes. I'm gonna fucking absolutely destroy it. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Say it again, what'd you say? Can I get like a back shot? Like hey, back yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> All right, guys, this is my last set. Let's get it going. <sighs> Not very satisfactory. There was a rep in there where I like kind of let myself go too much. I let the weight fall and it just 
messed up the flow, you know. Excuse my French, but it's all good, man. yeah, I just yeah, messed dude. up the flow. Sometimes you just gotta get that focus and take your fucking lion's manes, kid. <laughs> Last set, best set. Leave everything out on the fucking pavement, the canvas, whatever you wanna call it, the area that you work in. It's called it's called finishing empty. MPO. That's one way to put it, but 1% better every day. Exactly. Always reach and achieve for higher and higher, higher goals every time. Never be stuck in that slump. I'm going to show you exactly how to finish strong. After you're done with your other set, drop set. Who doesn't love just working out until you're done, bro? Wait, you still got your set left, huh? After Zepeda's set, we're gonna magically transfer through the magic of editing and coolness and software. I'm gonna, after his set, I'm gonna put my hand over and we're gonna be at in and out Exactly, we're gonna hit one of those, but come on now. Let's get, let's get, let's get Zepeda's go, shit going. That's what you call ultimate failure. Controlling that weight just brings me to tears almost. Such a beautiful set. Mm-hmm, come on. Yup. How do you feel? I feel good. I earned the fucking in and out burger. Oh yeah. So hold on to it. And like that, transition appears. Hey, what's going on guys? Just made it back to the in and out Can't wait to get my protein style 4x4 with animal fries. It's just to kick off the day. Hey bro, what did you get? 4x4. You got 4x4. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Immaculate. What'd you get? You got the same exact thing. I don't know if you can pick it up. I'm gonna make sure we're gonna cut to our food and it pulls up right now. Is it even recording? Can you just do the outro now, bro? Yeah. Okay, we got our food, we're gonna eat. As this video ends and concludes, I'm gonna be eating with my boys. Knowing that we hit a nasty ass back day. We're definitely gonna improve next week. We know. Who knows? 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 Who kn